everyone welcome to abc tutorial thanks for watching this video this is actually the point of sale and inventory management system so you can uh, see my previous video to uh, uh, to know about more about point of sale and inventory management system so in this playlist i uh, uh, already developed a login system and role based authorization system so you can use this role based login and authorization system into your any of uh, professional projects so this is actually advanced and professional things what i did because i get a lot of requests from you guys from different kind of videos so today i will uh, show you how you can log out from already logged in system i mean the system what we developed we will how we developed uh, the logout system to log out from the system so before starting i just uh, let you know that this is abctutorial.com you can uh, provide i mean you, you will get a lot of things to learn advanced and basic things and if you get, uh, get, get, if you face any kind of problem inside your project or code you can post here which is abctutorial.com slash community so let's move to the main video so so see the, the here i already logged in so if i uh, just uh, again uh, reopen my project all right so just uh, reopen my project all right project is loaded so i'm just logging so already this login system developed so you can um, see previous video to develop this login system and role based authorization system so um, so see here i already logged in and uh, so uh, this is uh, where we can see valeria luna this is actually the template things what we already downloaded and uh, we worked with this uh, uh, template so you can see my previous video to get download and uh, work using uh, this template from sb admin so uh, see this is the valeria luna but here i logged in is a different name right so I will show here the name, the which name I logged in, and when I will click here, it's uh, confirming to do I want to leave this page. If I click yes, this is not redirect me to any other page or this is this is actually not logged out from the system, right? So I will just develop it how how we can do it. All right. So first, I will go to my code and I will um i will check this is my login method by which i logged in so here when we log in here two things we uh, keep one is username another is user role so i will just show this username here okay so in that case i have to go layout page all right for uh, from shared and layout i will search luna yeah this is luna so i will just paste my code and i will reload the page it's taking time <clears throat> yes see here i logged in as a test 233 so if i check in my user table see here i have a test 233 user so that means i logged in using this user and uh, role is editor so i will also show role with the name all right so in that case i have to go this code again and i will just copy and paste this code here and i will just reload the page See here is the name and the role is showing properly so this is actually the visible things who is logged in and who am I actually and who, what is my role actually yeah? okay so just click here and log out so my second work is to log out from the system so how I will develop it so I have to go in home controller or you can develop in any of your controller I will use home controller so just I will write some code action result logout 
this is a method so after clicking uh, uh, after clicking this uh, log out this button it will uh, come to this method and whether we are trying to log out so after uh, clicking here it will redirect me to log log logged in page all right so this is actually login page so i will redirect after logout to uh, login login page all right so i will write redirect to action okay so i will redirect it i will redirect login page so uh, before login i have to do some work right so the work is i have to clear my session or cookies or anything how i logged in actually so i have to see my login page i mean login things how i manage this login right so actually i used session variable to login and then i uh, i use authorization filter to get access to the specific page all right so in that case um, uh, in that case check login check login is my uh, login uh, uh, login con i mean a method where i write codes to uh, login logics right so if this uh, user is exist then it will uh, go in, go inside this if condition then uh, session variable will be set all right but if not found any user using this username and password it will keep me is logged false so actually that means when logged in username and role is set all right so using this username and role actually we are filtering the paste things all right so i will show you after a few minutes later but first we have to do it in my logout uh, method so just keep it null if it null mean when i logged out that time user and role will be null okay so just now run the page all right so login so i come to this page so if i want to log out from here so if i click here it's nothing uh, happened so i will make it to happen so i will just copy this uh, logout method and i will go layout page and see here this is ready to leave i mean i will i will i will put my codes inside this uh, login button so i i have to uh, find this logout i mean logout button all right so log out so this is actually the one logout so this logout mean this logout activity logout so this is actually activity logout then another logout i will find this is the this logout all right so i will put see here select or ready to leave this kind of word we see in our code so i mean in our front end right see ready to leave so i will write some code url action so first i will write my controller name then i will write my action name okay see here first action then controller so that means it will be first okay so i just uh, reload the page yes page is reload so uh, before uh, go i will just make a debug here so if i click here this button then it will come to me this uh, method yes okay so so it will redirect me to login page actually so see it's redirect me to login page and it's log out now so if i want to 
directly access index page it will never allow you to uh, go index page all right so here actually i develop two kind of authorization one is if you never logged in then you cannot go inside the application another is if you were logged in but if you don't have the specific page permission in your role then you cannot access this page so i will show you things right now so see if i log in again so i can log out again no problem so log out things has done so i will show you how you are logged in but you cannot access this home index page how i will manage i will just see here this is my role editor so i will manage it from role permission if you want to learn more about these things you can see my previous video which is role permission and login things so uh, in this series i already i already make this video so this is editor home index so for editor role he can access home index page all right so if i just rename the page or i if i delete these things so i will just actually delete this so i'll delete and if i now reload the page see what happened here see home access denied so this is actually redirect me to you are not authorized that means the page i want to access this page is not authorized for me all right so this is another kind of authorization and if i not logged in then there is another kind of authorization so all kind of things i already developed in my project so you can check out previous video which is point of sale you can uh, see my uh, video description as well and you will get all the video and uh, article and the code things in abctutorial.com so you can go abctutorial.com and you can check out the article and codes everything so thanks for watching this video thank you very much keep subscribe and keep learning